Subaru told last month that it would roll out special edition WRX and WRX STI models for the 2019 model years, and here they are. Called Series Grey, the cars were revealed over the weekend at the 2018 Subaru Technica International Volkswagen event near Washington, D.C., and will hit dealers this fall. The biggest giveaway that's something special about the Subarus is the cool grey khaki paint job, which we'd call a little more Series Blue than Series Grey. To contrast that color, the sedans get gloss black badging and black wheels, with the STIs boasting silver brake calipers with a black STI logo. For the Subaru WRX, the Series Grey treatment builds on the car's existing performance package, upgraded brake pads, no sunroof and Recaro seats, adding LED headlights, LED fog lights and push-button start. It's priced from $33,480 with destination and will be limited to just 750 cars. The STI Series Grey likewise has Recaro's and push-button start, and is priced from $40,580. Only 250 will be built. The Series Grey additions round out the tweaks to the 2019 WRX and WRX STI. Other key changes include the addition of Apple CarPlay as standard on the WRX, and engine tweaks that give the STI an extra 5 horsepower for a total of 310. Both cars go on sale this summer, with the Series Grey models arriving in the fall. Reminiscing about warm summer nights at the ballpark always evokes thoughts of hot dogs, fresh-cut grass, and watching field stripers meticulously line the diamond with chalk or spray paint. Soon, this nostalgia won't exactly consist of middle-aged field stripers but rather, autonomous fleets of robots, if the car manufacturer Nissan has its way. Call the Pitch R, Nissan's field striping robot made its first appearance in May's Champions League final between soccer clubs Liverpool and Real Madrid in Kyiv, Ukraine. In just 20 minutes, the diminutive machine accurately and efficiently painted all the necessary lines needed for the match, producing a finished product capable of passing a rigorous pre-match inspection. Inspired by the company's ProPilot driver assistance tech found in the new Nissan Leaf, the Pitcher boasts four cameras, built-in GPS location tracking, and an advanced collision avoidance system. Outfit with environmentally friendly and dissolvable white paint, the Pitcher is able to work on either gravel, grass, or pavement and can stripe lines even if a playing surface is uneven or has various obstacles. After quickly analyzing its environment to assess where to accurately stripe, the battery-powered bot gets to work. No matter if it's a field designed for 5-a-side, 7-a-side, or 11-a-side matches, it's capable of completing the job in 20 minutes or less. Although it's unknown if Nissan plans to put the picture into production, the company used the bright lights of the Champions League final to further showcase what it calls Nissan Intelligent Mobility. According to the company, the project is designed to change how cars are driven, powered, and integrated into society. Similar to the way Tesla or Google are hoping to disrupt the auto industry with their own self-driving tech, Nissan Intelligent Mobility appears to be yet another stab at perfecting vehicle autonomy. So, what does that have to do with a field striping robot? On a much smaller scale than deploying a self-driving car on the highway, the pitch R allows Nissan to easily highlight its budding driver assistance tech without running the risk of any serious damage. By putting a robot to work to accurately stripe a field used for one of the biggest soccer matches of the year, Nissan not only gets to test its tech in a fun way but does so with millions of people watching. The company says it's the first in a series of advanced prototypes being developed using Nissan Intelligent Mobility Technologies. Jean-Pierre Diurnas, Nissan Europe's vice president for marketing, said in a statement, The passion for soccer drove our design and engineering team to create Pitch R. 
It injects the best of Nissan technology into an innovation which can benefit grassroots football and excite and engage young fans. Subaru announced today that the new special edition Subaru WRX and STI series grey models will go on sale later this year. And, based on how Subaru is building and pricing them, they're speckered to be the ultimate driver's car for under $40,000. But you'll have to act fast because, respectively, only 750 and 250 of each will roll out of the factory. Usually. The announcements of special editions come in hot with a lot of hype and excitement but leave the crowd wanting because typically the special bits are just unique paint jobs and some contrast stitching. Subaru, on the other hand, put some effort into the series grade duo. Both cars come with a manual gearbox only and the obligatory special paint job, plus Recaro seats and blacked out badging. But that's just a start. At $32,595, the WRX is based on the premium trim level and gets additional JURID front brake pads, LED headlights, fog lights and a push-button start. At $39,695 STI receives all of what the WRX does, plus Bilstein tuned suspension and dampers inverted strut front suspension and double wishbone rear suspension. Both cars, no matter which way you look at it, are incredible performance bargains. For the better part of a decade, the Subaru Impreza family, the WRX and STI, enjoyed a thin field of competition. The only competition was the Mitsubishi Lancer, but now that the Lancer Evo is no more, the only similarly priced four-door four-wheel drive performance cars are the Focus RS and the Audi RS3. However, both the Ford and the Audi start above $40,000. Granted, only 1,000 examples of the series grey Subaru WRX and STI will be made, and considering Subaru's keeping them incredibly affordable and only available in the US, they're even more special. Personalization is becoming increasingly trendy. People like to put their mark on everything from handbags to houses just to feel unique. Having recognized that trait, Japanese manufacturer, Nissan, has introduced a special configurator page called Color Studio on the Nissan USA website for their all-new Kicks crossover SUV. The Color Studio brings personalization of the compact crossover to your screen by allowing you to modify 12 curated accessories of the all-new Nissan Kicks from a selection of five colors, namely white, black, red, orange and blue. On the outside, you can edit the color of the front lip finisher, rear spoiler, front and rear door handle covers, rear bumper accent, side mirror caps, rear hatch accent, lower door accent. It also allows you to choose from a range of 7 exterior colors and 5 two-tone combinations. Even the black 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, available on Kix SV and SR grades only, can be added with color inserts of choice. While on the insides, the shade of the rearview mirror cover, door sill protector, air vent rings, floor mats can be altered. Although, Having a thing by using two or three colors at the most could help render a decent proposal. You could also order a multicolor Smarties endorsing vehicle, which may negatively, or positively, affect residual value. Mike Souter, Vice President, After Sales, Nissan North America Incorporated stated, as an affordable compact crossover, with a starting price tag of just $17,990. Kix is designed to fit the needs of singles or couples looking for style, personal technology, smart functionality and advanced safety features. Souter added, the Kix Color Studio adds an affordable way to further personalize the new Kix, giving buyers the choice of adding just a few or the complete package of factory-backed Color Studio accessories. 
Thankfully, the cost of the exterior and interior add-ons are mentioned along with the kit's initial and final retail pricing so you can make changes to suit your budget. What is not apparent are the labor charges which may apply if installation is done at the dealership. Or, you can save yourself some money and have them installed yourself, as the manufacturer suggests. Either way, happy coloring.